We've got two interesting accessories in from Belkin for the iPad Air. This one is the ultimate keyboard case, sort of Belkin's flagship offering. It features very uh, well-spaced keys on the keyboard. It features a slim and lightweight design, multiple viewing angles, courtesy of Belkin's smart sensing technology that we'll talk about a little bit later. Uh, the true type keys, uh, aluminum alloy keyboard case. So not only is it a, a physical keyboard, but it also looks good. And it also, most importantly, protects your iPad Air from dings and nicks and stuff like that. On the top of the device, you'll notice this sort of leatherette filling material. You have, of course, the aluminum as well. If we open it up here and it's kind of sealed or snaps together with the uh, magnet, so that's good. Uh, to keep it all together there. But pay attention to the three viewing angles that are achieved using the magnet. See how these it just snaps right into those uh, dedicated spots. Uh, those are the different viewing angles that you can use with this keyboard case and it's all done magnetically. Uh, so this offers quite a bit of features, uh, quite a bit of a bang for your buck, if you will, uh, with this ultimate keyboard case from Belkin. And we'll talk about this a little bit more in depth later. But right now, I also wanna show you the slim style keyboard case. This is Belkin's other iPad Air offering. It's less money, and therefore it doesn't have all the bells and whistles that you get with the ultimate keyboard case, but it does have a very nice keyboard that I wanna talk about a little later. Uh, the keyboard itself, I actually like it better. Shh, don't tell anyone, but I actually like it better than the Ultimate Keyboard Case, the keyboard that comes with the Slim Style Keyboard Case. Uh, it's really nice. Now, the material is sort of like a rubber filling material. It's hard to describe, but it's it's not leather or anything like that. Uh, you do have these little flaps on the side to secure the iPad Air into place. It's not as secure as the Ultimate Case, but it still does a fairly decent job. And I think you'll, you won't worry about your iPad falling out or anything like that. On the right side, you have the micro USB connection for charging the device. Um, and on the bottom, it's just pretty plain, nothing outside of the Belkin logo to be seen. And on the reverse side, you have the flap, and this is, you can get multiple viewing angles with this. It's just not as precise as the ultimate keyboard case. Now, speaking of keyboard, the keys are solid on both keyboard cases. It has a very good key depth, as you see here, so you have a lot of room to depress your keys. It's not super shallow. Um, and still it maintains a very slim design. As you see, the keys themselves are a very nice size for an iPad. I mean, it's not a full size like a MacBook Air or anything, but it gets fairly close. Uh, both devices actually have the exact same size keys, but on the slim style case, you get this extra row of dedicated iPad or iOS uh, functions. They don't share their keys with the, like on the ultimate keyboard case where you have to hit the function key to use those options. So that is one of the actual plus sides of using the slim style keyboard case over the ultimate keyboard case. The main thing that really separates these two devices are the magnets. On the ultimate keyboard case, magnets are very liberally used. You have the snap to close magnets. You have the magnets for the different viewing angles. And th that's really, really nice to have. You don't have to worry about the uh, device just flapping open as with the uh, slim style keyboard case because it doesn't have those magnets. It kind of just uh, flaps open and it doesn't securely close. Uh, but you do have the viewing angles that are usable using this little flap on the back of the slim style case. It's fairly solid. It has this rubber uh, friction grip on the bottom of the flap. It's not as precise as what you'll get on the ultimate keyboard case, but that goes without saying it doesn't use magnets and it doesn't snap directly into place like you get with the ultimate case. Another obvious win for the Ultimate Keyboard case is the fact that it's just protected. It, it feels very solid. You don't have to worry about if it bangs up against something, the device getting scratched up. Whereas with this case, it does a great job of protecting the top and bottom of your iPad, but it's really the sides that make me worry. They're kind of exposed, and although the slim style case is supposed to be slim, you can see there's a pretty significant difference between it and the Ultimate Keyboard case. The slim case tapers at the end, but it's still fairly thick at its thickest point when compared to the ultimate keyboard case. 
But either way you go, both of these cases are going to add significant heft and thickness to an otherwise very, very slim and trim device. As you see my 11-inch MacBook Air there, and you see the other devices compared to that, not much difference there. So it's going to add a lot of heft and uh, thickness, but you'll also find that you're much more productive because these keyboards, regardless of which case you get, are solid keyboards to use. I hope you enjoyed this walkthrough of the Belkin Ultimate Keyboard Case and the Slim Style Keyboard Case. Be sure to check out all of our coverage on iDownload blog regarding these two cases, and let me know what you guys think in the comments. This is Jeff with iDownload blog.